Hey there, everybody. Time for seven minutes in the morning this week. We've been talking about having a system today. An interesting side effect of having a system. Stay tuned for that. Well, hey there, good morning and welcome everyone, one and all. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host, and you have tuned in. You have found seven minutes in the morning show where we talk about how to start, grow, and enjoy the benefits of business ownership, have a happy, healthy, balanced life, all those great things, all at the same time. Whether you're watching live or on the replay, you are a uh, valued guest for being here, and I would love it if you'd do what Joe just did and drop a comment in there and say hi. Let me know that you're here. Man, I almost should start doing those those lawyer commercials on the radio. I got that part down. I can say it really fast. So it is Thursday. Is today Thursday? Yeah. Today's Thursday. Um, thankful Thursday. What are you thankful for today? Drop that down in the comment when you say hi uh, and share that with the group. By the way, it doesn't matter whether you're watching live or on the replay. I don't remember if I said that. All right, so this week we've been talking about <coughs> um, systems, systems, and I, I discovered uh, an interesting side effect of having systems. And I, I know a lot of you are resistant to this, just because people are, right? Well, I don't, I don't really need a system. You can systematize anything, literally anything. I. <coughs> have thought about but never go grocery shopping enough to systematize grocery shopping. But I saw one time somebody who had, and they, they had actually taken the time to go map out the grocery store, they knew what was on which aisles, and they organized their list based on the order that the items came in the aisle. Right? Just systematized it. Here's the 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 um, the benefit of doing that, and and so and I want to go over this because if you think, eh, okay, that'd be nice, but I don't have time for that. Let me explain to you one of the reasons why systems are so important and why they work. Okay, because you get this added side benefit of having a system, and that's that you're able to predict the outcome. Right. Um. You know, it's still football season. I, I've got to draw some football analogies. Love him or hate him, Lane Kiffin used to be the offensive coordinator for Alabama, and he was known, among many things, for calling touchdowns before they happened. How was he able to do that? He had a system. He could see what the other team's defense, how they had lined up. He knew the play that he had called. And as soon as, several times, as soon as as his team would snap the ball, hands go up in the air, we got it. Why? Because he had a system. And that system allowed him uh, predictable results. Right? Uh, it, it afforded him predictable results. And what comes with predictable results? Right? Confidence. Why? Because, well... It's predictable. And if you have confidence, then what do you not have? Hmm. Fear, uncertainty, doubt. Yes, all of those things go away. So in the same way that Kiffin was confident that they were about to score a touchdown, you can be confident about the outcome that you're trying to create if you have a system that gets you there. So I had a conversation last night, um, kind of wrapping up co-working night, we were talking about, in, in this conversation, we were talking about time management. And the just kind of the thing I beat everybody over the head with, right? Doesn't matter what your system is. There are lots of good systems. I have one. But there are many. But here's the key. Get it out of your head. Get it into the system. And then trust the system. Right? If you get it out of your head... So for me, out of my head and into the system is back here on the whiteboard, right? Now I know that every Sunday afternoon when I go to look at the whiteboard, if there's an idea there that needs attention, it will be there, 
that's where I go to look. If it, ha if it needs to happen before Sunday afternoon, I don't know if I have any in here now. I do, well, I do not. But it stays in the front cover of the book, right? It's just a system. But I have confidence in the system. So now when I have an idea, that's why I have all these sticky pads laying around here. Which, of course, I'm not going to be able to put my hand on one. Oh, because it's right here, holding my notes. So I got this little sticky pad here. I have an idea. Write it down, tear it off, put it on the, on the board. Now I don't have to try and remember that, and I can let the creative part of my brain have some space. Right? So having a system gives you confidence. I'm confident that I won't forget that idea. It's in my system. Now, if something happens, I'm driving, I can't write it down, I can't, well, it's, it's, it's stressful at that point because I don't have the confidence yet that I'm going to be able to remember it. All right, so great side effect of systems is that they yield uh, predictable results. Predictable results give you confidence. Confidence can take away fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Eric says you get the result without having to think about the process. Yes. Oh. Oh. And Brooke says she's systematized shopping thanks to ship. So that means you don't even have to know about the grocery store, right? It just takes care of that for you. And yeah, Eric, 100% right. You, you get the predictable result without even having to think about the process. I don't even... It, well, maybe sometimes I do, but 99% of the time I don't even think about it. I, I mean, I've got sticky notes. I've got them here. I'm so bad. I have them here and laying by the chair and by the chair in the living room. And I've got them in the console of my car and I've got two stacks in my back. I just always have them so I can jot these notes down. So it's, it's just become an ingrained part. I know now that the result is going to follow. All right, so... If you ever had any doubt that systems are valuable, that should have eradicated all those doubts. They work, and that's why they work. All right, it's Thursday. Remember, it's Thankful Thursday. Drop me a comment down there what you're thankful for today. Tomorrow is Friday. That means free coaching Friday. Send me your question, comment, or topic you would like for me to hammer on tomorrow, and I will do that. All right, that's going to be it for today. You guys have a uh, terrific Terrific. I need a TH word. Have a terrific Thursday. And I'll talk to you again in the morning. Take care.